Today I'm going to take a look at an animation trick with Photoshop here, and uh, it's something I saw on Microsoft's digital photography website, and I thought it looked like a cool little animation, and uh, since CS2 actually has the animation palette in it, it makes it a lot easier to do now because now you don't even have to go over to image ready to do it. You can do, all, do it all right here in uh, Photoshop CS2. So you can grab, uh, just pause the video and you can grab the URL from the top of the uh, window here. But essentially what this technique does is it starts with a, a white background and it fades in a person and then it fades in the background. But if you watch close, and, and I encourage you to just go to the website and watch what happens here, when the person fades in, they're blurry, and the background is sharp, and then quickly the person becomes sharp and the background becomes blurry. So we'll show you how to do all that right here with the animation palette inside Photoshop. All right, so the way we start this out is just with two layers here. We've got the woman on her own layer and a background. And notice they're both sharp right now. So the first thing that we want to do here is make blurry versions of both of these. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the layer. That's Control or Command and J. And then go up to the filter menu, go down to Blur, and go to Gaussian Blur. Now, I want to blur, blur the girl enough to know that it's, she's definitely blurred, but I don't want to make it so outrageous that you can't see any part of her. So somewhere around a three, three and a half pixel blur works good for this image, but it really depends on, on the size of your own images. All right, so I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to do the same thing, duplicate that background layer, and then instead of going down to the filter menu, going under blur, you can use the shortcut, and that's Control, Alt, and F. And that opens up the same dialogue you just had, and maybe we'll tone this one down a little. It's a little too blurry, so we'll take it down to 2 and click OK. So now we've got four layers, a blurry and a sharp version of each one. Now the next thing we need to do is, remember there was white in there, it started with white. So the next thing we need to do is just add a white layer right below, the, just at the bottom of our layer stack here, and then just fill it with white. So now if we hide them, you can see we've got a white layer, we've got a sharp background, blurry background. You know what? I'm going to hit Control or Command F just to blur that one more time. And then sharp woman, blurry woman. All right, so now we're well on our way. The next thing that we want to do here is open up the animation palette. So we'll choose Window, go to Animation, and uh, it's going to kind of get to be a long animation here, so uh, we're going to have to use the, the slider so I can show you all the frames inside the video here. But the very first thing we want to do is, let's put this up at the top. The very first thing that we want to do here is we have a frame at the bottom. So we want to set this very first frame up to be the first frame of the animation. So we'll make it white. So that means we'll hide all the other layers here. And notice that first frame just shows white. Now we'll duplicate that very first frame here. And then let's go in and turn on the blurry woman. Okay. So we're not going to create all the in-between frames yet. I'm going to show you a little trick for doing it later. But we've got the, the blurry version of the woman, so we're going to duplicate that frame again. And now what we want to do is bring in the background, the sharp version, though. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on in the Layers palette. So now we've got that sharp background. And now let's go ahead and duplicate that frame. And now let's turn on the sharp woman, and let's also turn on the blurry background. So now if you watch what's going to happen, it's going to go from blurry to sharp. So the blurry woman, and now we have got the sharp background here. All right, so the next thing that we want to do after that is create all the in-between frames, because it starts with white, goes to the blurry version of the woman, then it goes to the sharp background, and then we switch from sharp background to sharp woman. So now we need to create all the frames in between, and that's a lot easier uh, than you think it is. What we'll do is click on one frame of the animation and then shift click on the second one, and I'm gonna click this little button right here. It's called a tween, and this creates all the frames in between for you. So I'm just gonna stick with the default here, which is five, and click okay, and watch what happens. See these frames? So it goes and it starts bringing in the woman. So I'm going to start off here with white, we'll bring in the woman, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, I want to hang here for a second. So this little drop down at the bottom, let's change that to one second. So it's going to stop here for one second. Then I'm going to click on this one and shift click on the next one, click on the tween button and we'll add another five frames. Okay, and now it's starting to bring in the background. 
Okay, now I don't want these to all be one second. See how they kept that one second? So let's click on one and we'll shift click on another one here and we'll change those to no delay. Or maybe, yeah, we'll change it to no. Okay, now we've got that last frame here. Oh, we got to change this one too to no delay. Now, here's where it stopped. The background's all the way in. It's sharp and she's blurry still. So let's hang here for maybe another second. And then we've got our very last frame here. So click on one, shift click on the other one. And then again, hit the tween. And let's this time, let's change it to three frames. Click OK. OK, so now we've got three new frames in here. Let's shift click on all of them. Click on that little drop down. We'll change it to no delay. And then the last one will hang there for maybe two seconds that time. So here's what we've done. We've gone from white to woman to background and then we swap the blurry and the sharp background so basically we're ready to run our animation here so let's click on the first frame we'll press the play button and watch what happens see how it did it there it just keeps going through and it stops right where we tell it to and stops right at the end so you can change the times in here you can do whatever you want to to kind of fine-tune the effects of the animation but essentially you've created a nice little animation it looks choppy because you see let's hide all the palettes here it looks a little choppy because you're watching the animation but when you just look at the actual image it does a nice job of, of creating that Microsoft like animation now they ran some text in here at the end you can see they've kind of moved a little bit of text in there and you can do that with some type layers as well but pretty easy effect and it's not too hard to do I know there's a lot of layers in there and it got a little confusing but overall it's a fun effect to do and with uh, the animation palette in CS2 you don't even have to go into image ready to do it anymore so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you again next week thanks by the way, guys, but before we go, I'm going to record this after, but I'm going to stick it in at the end. Is uh, uh, I'm going to include the PSD file with these two layers in it. So if you guys want to follow along, you can go ahead and download the PSD file from the page that you're watching this video on.